UFC Fight Night Hall versus Silva all tonight on ESPN Plus. So that's going to get Kevin a lot of confidence. So I'll try and get the takedown. He's got the single leg. Fight is done. I feel like Chucky right now. <laughs> hey, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who supports me. I felt like I did my thing, you know. Um, just another robbery as we usually get, but you know, I'm used to it, you know. I fight these close fights. I think you know, I'm not saying that it wasn't close, but I felt I won. Um, no, I didn't say he poked me in the eye. I was just saying my eye. <laughs> The motherfucker hit me right in my eye, and I fought the round from half of the first all the way through with double vision. I couldn't see out my left eye; like it was all fucked up. I don't. I'm so surprised I got through the fight. I really am. But thank God I'm I'm, I'm healthy, and I will still break the records. Don't think I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. Y'all see me real soon. I want uh, Platinum Perry. Yeah, I want Platinum Perry. His opponent fell out November 21st. I don't think they booked it yet. He said he wanted to go to 185 for uh, Chimaev, but I think Chimaev, was, he's he's on a whole other thing right now. You know what I'm saying? They put him against a guy who was just in the top five at 170. So the guy's on a hot streak right now. Let the guy do his thing. Mike, you really want to fight? Me and you got a little fun on online? I'm the guy, bruh. I'm the guy. Come on. Scrap. Plus, he calls me little names. Call me Skinny Boy. So we'll see. I feel good, you know, I feel like I fought a game opponent, came out there, a lot of weapons, a lot of kicks, long reach, you know, so anytime I can go out there and get it done against uh, a guy like that with that kind of reach, that kind of status, you know, I feel great.
Nice work by you right home. That's a big right hand. There's got to be a... Yeah, I mean, um, the man, he's the man. Like, How old fuck, um, uh, fuck words. He's just the man. Like, seeing him in the cage, same, just experience. If you know, you know. If you fight, you know. If, if you're if you're in the UFC, you know. You saw me after my last fight, I embraced the moment. But he embraced the moment, and like, he's just got so much behind it, because he's done this shit for forever. Uh, I'm just honored to be here, man. The guy that got me in the game, I get to watch him fight, his last fight in the UFC and right into the sunset. He was competitive, he looked good. He froze Uriah at first and Uriah found his confidence later on and yeah. It was just a lot of stuff going on and I'm just, uh, it's hard to describe, you know, when you're in it. Um, but just, just to share that moment where it could have been his potential last bout or to share the moment, him knowing that I respect him and how it ended. I couldn't hold it back. The Schmo knows you're a big fan of Anderson Silva. What was it like watching him bow down inside the octagon for the final time? It, like, see, this is chills. Yeah, like, it, that's, you can't express it in words. I don't know how to convey that through words, but, like, fight, if you know, you know. If you're a fighter, you know that feeling. And for him to say goodbye to his art form in that sense and fighting, yeah, it just, it's, it was heavy. So I just took it in, watching him embrace his moment and just observing like bird watching or spider watching <laughs> obviously a lot to unpack at ufc fight night let's start with uh dmx comes on and, and anderson silva's walking out what was going through your mind watching him make his final walk in the ufc yeah you know the listen the guy's a legend he's uh he's been here for a long time he's accomplished a ton of great things and uh i felt you know I know he came out earlier last week and said, you know, it doesn't feel like family anymore since Lorenzo left. And I will always admit Lorenzo was the kinder, gentler side of the UFC. <laughs> but uh, I've shown Anderson nothing but respect. He's never been cut. His contract has never been negotiated. You know, he's he's been very well taken care of, more than family. So um, hopefully tonight he realizes that He's 46 years old, and it's time to hang it up, hmm. you know? If this guy comes back, and you've been in this situation before, and, and he says, I'm not ready to retire, I want to fight somewhere else. It's not going to happen. Yeah. It's not going to happen. There's the no UFC negotiation or... over it. We made a deal. He's him and Han now, but we made a deal. We have a deal. Hmm. I have a deal. And, and that's it. Hmm. Well, let's look at uh, the other side of the I'm sure if up. you polled the fans and the media, they'd all tell you they don't want to see Anderson fight again. Yeah.